Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X. So, I got another What's in the Box video for you today. As you can see, we've got a uh, order from Doracoat here. Um, as you guys have seen on my channel, I am a big fan of Doracoat. I use it on a lot of projects. So, I figured you guys see it on my channel all the time. Why not show you guys what you actually get when you order from Doracoat. So, uh... Without further ado, let's just cut this open and I'll show you what they send you. Alright, so Duracoat's pretty good. They give you a lot of stuff. They always throw in one of their catalogs here. They sell a lot of products. It's not just Duracoat. There's all kinds of stuff in here. But they give you a catalog to peruse through. I mean, if you're old school, you like looking through the catalogs. If not, you could always just go online, check out the website. Um, obviously, you're going to get your invoice. And then you're going to get your Duracoat. So, and take a look here. We'll go ahead and cut this open. All right, so if you've been following along, you know that I was going to order some Doracoat for Project Lich King, and this is it here. We're going with the Battleship Gray, okay? I'm going to do another video, show you guys exactly what I'm going to be Duracoating on the firearm, but that's for another time. Um, I ordered the 4-ounce bottle. This is the smallest bottle of Duracoat that they make. They also make 8-ounce bottles. And I think they go a little bit bigger, but they start getting real pricey the bigger you get. The the 4-ounce standard Doracoat is going to run you about $25. It's like $24.95, something like that. Um, they always throw in this here. It's a bottle of hardener. All right, you're going to need to mix this with your Duracoat when you spray it on. Um, <clears throat> they always give you... Uh, sheet of instructions here it's going to tell you how to mix everything um i think it's like a 12 to 1 ratio if i remember correctly but yeah it's in there somewhere you got to read over your instructions it, it yeah i believe it's a 12 to 1 ratio uh it tells you how to sand everything down too um now back in the day they used to throw in some extra stuff uh they used to give you some filters with it so you could filter it through before you run it through your machines. Um, at one point, they actually would include a, re a bottle of reducer. Now they charge you, I think it's like three or four bucks for a bottle of reducer, which I think is ridiculous because it's pretty much just a little bottle of lacquer thinner. You know, anybody who's doing their own kind of projects with paint and Duracoat, stuff like that, you're going to have lacquer thinner to clean your tools anyway. So they, there's no point in really purchasing that from them. Like I said, it, it's just a little bottle of lacquer thinner. But yeah, but this is what you actually get, guys. You get your four ounces of your Duracoat. You get your hardener. Um, they do have a lot of products, guys. Um, I really like using Duracoat over some of the other products out there. It's way better than using like an acrylic spray paint. They, I mean, it has its place. I, I've done, I've done a um, one of my air rifles with just Krylon one time because I mean it's just an air rifle, so who cares? But um, if you want to put a really nice finish on, I recommend Duracoat. Um, you can use Cerakote as well, but I'm I'm not a fan of Cerakote because you have to bake it on afterwards. This stuff, you just mix your hardener into it, spray it on, and you give it some time to set, and you're good to go. There's no baking involved. And they, there's no way my wife is going to let me use her oven and put a freshly Cerakoted gun barrel into her oven. There's no way that's happening in this house. So it, that, that's pretty much why I go with Duracoat, because Cerakote has that extra process of baking on the product, which I'm not a big fan of. But... I mean, there it is, guys. There's a there's a quick look at what you're gonna what you're gonna get, what to expect when you order your Duracoat. 
Um, but like I said, they have a lot of products, guys. They got tons of stuff. They have, uh, like you've seen this before on my channel, the Dora Fill. Use it for filling in imperfections and stuff before you Dora coat. Um, they have like uh, Dora Bluing, which it, uh, it it basically replicates. It's it's like a spray on bluing. It comes in a lot of different colors. Um, they have like six different colors of that. Uh, they have what's called Dora Dyes. It's a it's a spray on anodizing replicator. This one was in like a like a sapphire blue. It was a real nice color. I mean, doing something like this using the the spray on anodizing, it's it's a little bit of a process because you also have to use another color underneath. You have to put a base coat on. Like I had to use this stainless steel base coat and then put the um, the door dies on top of it. But I mean, there, like I said, there's lots of products, guys. If you look through the catalog here, I mean, I, I, like I said, I don't want to sit here and go through the whole catalog with you. But here it is. Here's the door dies and all the different colors that they have for it. Um, they have spray on browning. So you can brown your stuff, uh, spray on parkerizing, you know, uh, the, the Dora Blue, which is the spray on bluing. So if you're, if you're a hobbyist like me and you're just working in your garage and you don't have access to like real gunsmithing tools and you don't have like a hot bluing bath in your garage, because who the hell does, you know, we're, we're not professional gunsmiths, then the Dora Code is clearly the way to go, guys. It's one of my favorite products out there when it comes to firearm finishes. But uh, but there it is. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what you're going to get, what to expect. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you next time.